little birdie told me that you wanted to have a look inside of my shell, just a little bit more in depth. And I'm feeling nice today, so we're gonna do just that. I am going to give you guys the first look into my new bookshelves, if you saw the reorganization and just completely redoing video, and the first bookshelf tour of 2024. And if you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Kendall and welcome to my little book corner that I have formed on this side of YouTube. I hope you enjoy and decide to stay and we're just gonna dive right in to these shelves. Here is the first little overview of everything. Shelves are kind of, for the most part, self-explanatory. I had to spread out so there's some color throughout the whole thing. We have fantasy, fantasy, romance, fantasy, romance. Let's dive in. I feel like the easiest way to do this is going left to right, so that's what we're gonna do. You guys look a little crooked there. Um, we can start off up at the top if we wanted to. I have some dead flowers from my boyfriend that I had to throw away. Oh my god, I didn't know they were looking that dead today. Nice little Dunder Mifflin cup. Cup? That's a plant. And my camera. I'm probably supposed to record on, but I want to invest in a little, like, vlog. Yeah, not something that big. She's huge. She's a monster. A mammoth, if you will. And then you see prize possession number one right here. It's my fourth wing shelf, special edition of fourth wing, normal version of fourth wing, and special edition of iron flame with my little central perk ornament. And I don't, I don't know, this glass, the glass just, it just felt fitting. So that's, <laughs> that's what we landed on. Uh, I, I don't know. Another prized possession shelf right here. This is my Shatter Me series. I tackled this the end of 2022 and it has still been a standout for me. I would love to reread this this year. Or just find a week, honestly, to sit down and reread it. And then I have my little dragon here that I got from an Irish festival. And it is a, if you don't get the Game of Thrones reference, it is a dragon sitting on the Iron Throne. Super iconic. I thought it didn't fit on the fourth wing shelf, but she fits into the fantasy vibes. Next shelf, she's also self-explanatory. Divine Rivals, Ruthless Vows. A little plant in the middle. Have I read either? No. But I plan to this month. This this little girly is on my TBR for this month. So how am I gonna go lower? My mini fridge is gonna decide to make an appearance here. This shelf is also self-explanatory. Not so much uh, fantasy as it is just my favorite mystery author, and she needed her own shelf because. I've neglected my thrillers and mysteries, but not Miss Jennifer Lynn Barnes. So naturally you have the natural series, no pun intended, and the Inheritance Games. I finally got the paperback of the Final Gambit. For the longest time I had the paperback of the UK version of Final Gambit. Um, so we finally have her and then a nice little fake plant. If you notice, I have a bunch of fake plants because I can't take care of real ones. So that is this shelf in the whole like mini organizer it's kind of like a series spotlight honestly that's what these tiny shelves are all right i gotta raise you guys up for this one um this is the neglected thriller mystery shelf over here uh, i have not added to her in a minute besides the last book um and i have not touched or read any of the books over here in a solid minute so it was organized at one point books i've read and books i haven't still kind of organized like that a little iffy we have karen and mcmanus over here uh for your own good daisy darker they're watching you this like weird little stack in the middle 14 ways to die i have read no i haven't yes i have yes i have <laughs> the perfect marriage final girl support group i will never read this book it has bad juju um natasha preston the guest list, Lucy Foley, I DNF'd this in 2022, have not picked it back up. And The Murder Game by Carrie Doyle, don't know anything about that. And then these are all the ones that I have read besides her on the end here. If I could get closer, I would, but like, I feel like this is just an awkward angle for all of us. I don't know. We have Alex Michaelides, Maiden's Silence Page, yeah. 
I'm illiterate. Maidens and the Silent Patient. Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. This is actually the very first book I've ever read getting back into reading. Uh, don't recommend if it is your first time getting back into reading. Horror Hotel, One by One by Ruth Ware. The Housemaid, House Across the Lake, We Were Liars. And then this new baby that I actually thrifted, The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz. Over here is kind of Reading Journal Central. I have my past previous journals all my annotating and then these are duologies and trilogies that I have completed or almost completed in its entirety so Six of Crows Crooked Kingdom I have read that Cruel Prince trilogy I binged this uh actually in January of last year I don't remember really a single thing about it Carval Legendary Finale I am up to finale but I don't know if I'm really in a rush to, <laughs> to finish that one and then of course like another another fake plant this is more incompleted series there's no rhyme or reason to why a book ended up on this shelf um i have guild and glint first two books in the plate of prisoner series have only read guild uh king of battle and blood queen of myth and monsters by scholar of saint Clair. vicious and vengeful duology these violent delights i only own the first book by chloe gong because i'm trying to behave and not buy entire series to where my shelves look like this Renegade's Trilogy by Marissa Meyer. Have not read any of them. I have my little annotating tabs up here. A little, little candle for some unknown reason. And Serpent and Wings of Night Trilogy, or I guess duology with a novella by Chris Broadbent. Only read the first one. That's it. And then if you peek into this little corner over, I don't know why I'm pointing with my left hand over here, I have a little Harry Potter ornament that my best friend got me. And I think she's just tiny, cute, and iconic. For once, I do own a Harry Potter series and a central perk, like Christmassy cup, but she's hidden as she's supposed to be. Alrighty, tagging back in the awkward angle. If you want to look up even higher, this is all of my diplomas and my grad cap and a central perk mug. Didn't add my graduate. <laughs> I mean, I didn't add my bachelor's diploma up yet because it's still rolled and I don't have a picture frame for it. So, but that'll be up there. Um, and then our first romance shelf, which I am going to move you guys. I can't really move much closer. We're just going to have to work with an awkward angle. Over here, we have Miss Megan Quinn. Not so meet cute and so not meant to be. Last chance books on display, of course, because it's a beautiful romance cover. Miss Emily Henry. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Emily Henry in the middle right here. Lynn Painter. My Christina Lawrence with a little, a little heart decor right here. Where the Crawdads Sing and Before the Coffee Gets Cold are two of the newest books to this shelf, and I actually thrifted them this past weekend. Uh, that also has basically no rhyme or reason. It's kind of hard to see in this little back corner here. I have The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary and The Bromance Book Club. Kiss Curse by Aaron Sterling, Godparent Trap, Summer Reading by Jen McKinley, When in Rome, The Worst Best Man, Faking with Benefits. These books are kind of pushed back so my turtle plant can have a moment. We have Carly Fortune, Red, White, and Royal Blue, Spanish Love Deception, The Hating Game, Today, Tonight, Tomorrow, and what book is hiding over here? I can't even see. Love at First Spite. I actually love this book. It's like HD, HGTV. I think that's what it's called. The Comrie Modeling Romance. Love that. Over on the end, we have Miss Allie Hazelwood, Abby Jimenez, Tessa Bailey, and hiding over here is Miss Ashley Poston with the seven-year slip. Let's move you down. I really have no clue what just happened. That was kind of scary. The way it like tweaked out and inverted the colors. This shelf, um, yeah, she has a lot going on. I'm not gonna lie. And as I collect these books, these books will move away. But for the time being, this is what we have. We have Addicted Callaway over here up to fuel the fire because you know we have to collect the new covers instead of the old covers. A little plan from Target. My lovely, adorable boyfriend that you can't even see. And a Polaroid camera. Because it's not a bookshelf without a Polaroid camera. Then we have another favorite author of mine, Miss Taylor Jenkins Reed. And two other books that I thrifted this past weekend. Which is Until Friday Night. And Funny You Should Ask by Alyssa Sussman. Both perfect copies. Don't know how I landed those ones. And now we're moving back down. The shadows are going to get a little weird over here, so you got to bear with me. Over here, we have some sports romances. I didn't really group them all together, but Miss L. Kennedy. And then we threw Say You Serve by Megan Brandy over there, which is a shame that she is so low to the ground because I loved her. Little random pink plant. 
I don't, I don't know. And the Magnolia Park series. Let me know down below if I should sell my original copies. Just buy all the new copies. Or get the UK version of the new copies that come out after this. They're just not going to be the same height, which kind of throws me off. Um, but I feel like I'd rather have different heights than just one book that's a completely different cover. So, um, this is also a little planner. She's a new addition. She's adorable. A little yellow boot because yellow is my favorite color with a random pot that I had no clue where to put. So, she's back there. Um, and then, of course, we got to talk about the shelf that is under her. Um, yeah. Vinyl record player. Two dragon shooting pool and my Taylor Swift memorabilia. Yeah. You got that word, right? We shifted over to the next shelf. There's nothing below this besides my camera bags. Oh, oh, and my tripod is failing on me. I'm so sorry. Shelf is kind of incomplete series. They're kind of all, all floppy because I'm, I'm missing a book on the shelf right now. Um, Richard, get up. Yep. Okay. Well, oh, random pink plant that I just had to throw there. This I got from the dollar store. I actually kind of love it for Valentine's Day. It's like Valentine's Day books. And then behind it is, you know, my name. No, of course. It's my bookshelves. And then uncompleted series, kind of new edition fantasies to my shelf. We have Powerless by Lauren Roberts. First book in the prison. Oh, wow. I really can't talk today. First book in the prison healer trilogy. First book in the Greenbone Saga. One Dark Window, Light Lark, Scythe, and Curse of Shadows and Thorns by L.J. Andrews. It was following my book haul, I found out that this is like a 10 book series. So thank you for absolutely no one telling me that. And I just bought it anyway. So, all right. Now let's go back up. So this bookshelf has had a lot of additions recently. It started off with just these trilogy and duologies. But I have bigger, better dreams for this shelf eventually, but not yet. So we have the Kingdom of the Wicked trilogy by Carrie Maniscalco. Serpent and Dove trilogy by Shelley Morin. I totally didn't just check that. This little duology, Ever the Brave and Ever the Hunted, or Ever the Hunted and Ever the Brave. I don't know the order with a little, like, a little planter. But the big overall dream for this shelf is to make a middle school core dystopian shelf with all thrifted books so all of these i thrifted this past weekend we have the maze runner i am missing the scorch trials no we did not realize that um before checking out otherwise we would have searched goodwill to find the fifth book but we have the maze runner the death cure the kill order and the fever code i didn't even know these two books existed they're prequels i believe um first book in the divergent series we found that one we have Aragon, Ready Player One, and a hardback of Catching Fire, because I think I'm going to collect Hunger Games in hardbacks. Um, yeah, and then my little, like, savings jar over there for all my work shifts. But these books are the dream for this shelf. My favorite pastime. This shelf is kind of self-explanatory. Um, we have Miss Cassandra Clare. She has a whole shelf for her own moment, and I'm probably going to have to reorganize this once I get the last hours, because something's telling me that three books aren't going to fit in this little gap here. But for the time being, we have the Moral Instruments, we have the Infernal Devices, and we have the Dark Artifices with all of the spines lined up. Because you have to. With my little dragon that I got at a Renaissance Festival, and she broke her wing. So I don't want to talk about it. But we can stare at her like she's so pretty. At last fantasy shelf we have is miss sarah j moss of course we have a court of thorns and roses series over here my two crescent city babies in the middle and my throne of glass babies over here don't ask where i'm putting crescent city three but i won't be getting it for a while because naturally if you notice these two here are paperbacks i find it unacceptable for me to get the hardback so i'll be waiting like another year for this paperback to come out anyway so for right now the shelf is perfectly fine and staying and up at the top here if you can kind of see I'm not going to pick you guys up because my tripod is being a meanie head is the friend's apartment lego set so yeah let's move on to the final shelf shall we top shelf here is my little what's the word I'm looking for small town romance this so much doesn't fit here at least I don't think 
but I just kind of needed Chestnut Springs to have her moment and then filled in the gaps. So Chestnut Springs in the middle, of course, and then Binding 13 and the Grip Shield on the sides. I don't know. Um, it's just, it's going to stay for now. And then up at the top is Central Perk, another <laughs> polo red camera, and a metal rose. So this shelf here is another kind of not, I, I don't know what's going on. We have Icebreaker and Wildfire over here by Miss Hannah Grace. A, another little dollar store Valentine's thing and another fake plant. Miss Lauren Asher is having her moment here with lovely designs as well. And then this is Stephanie Archer. If you haven't met Stephanie Archer, just know she's my favorite hockey romance author. It probably goes Stephanie Archer, Hannah Grace, and then L. Kennedy, but we have the fake out and behind the net. The two books in her Vancouver Storm series that's out so far. This is my teeny tiny dark romance shelf. We have my absolute 2023 favorite, the Mindfuck series by S.C. Abbey. And then naturally, because I love this so much, I had to get this, Butcher and Blackbird by Bryn Weaver. I have not read it yet. I'm thinking about reading it for this week's video, but I don't know if it kind of throws off the vibes. Uh, and then we have the, uh, I don't know what it's called, Sinner Trilogy by Sierra Simone, Priest, Sinner, and Saint with like the discreet covers. I mean, they're super pretty. Like, I read Priest. I don't know. I feel like Priest kind of put me off, but everyone says that's the worst book, so maybe we'll expand. Uh, and then we have Sophie Lark. We have Brutal 